Check it out, check it out. So, uh, listen, I know y'all think the mumble rappers don't get it in. You're wrong, okay? Now, Lil Yachty, okay, we all know that's a red here Negro. I mean, listen, he's making motherfucking hits. A lot of people don't like him, but a lot of people do love him. Now, basically, he got into it with another rapper. He was not physically involved in the altercation, but allegedly his security, which is QC security, stomped another rapper out, okay? And let me just actually hold back on saying stomped out, okay? They ain't completely fuck him up. They kind of, like, just threw him out. They kind of did a Jazzy Jeff, except they didn't throw him out of the building, okay? They roughed him up. Now, the other rapper's name is uh, Thousand Band Bounty, okay? Listen, if you don't know about him now, you probably will soon. And by the way, what's up with these weird-ass names, man, okay? The, the long names that you can't pronounce on paper, but it kind of makes sense once you hear it. It's ridiculous. Regardless, they started going back and forth on Twitter. Why were they actually fighting? I don't know yet, but it seems to be centered around... Something to do with the motherfucking chain snatching, okay? It appears that maybe somebody chain got taken. And this is what our thousand band phony said on Twitter. He said, listen, next time, no security, pussy. And then, of course, he followed up by saying, and stop half-assing these little videos so y'all look good. Show how pussy really is. How many niggas y'all got jumping in when shit hit the fan? And then he continued because Yachty jumped in actually to say, LOL, <laughs> what? He said, listen, let them know why you got beat, okay? And tell the truth. Stop playing victim, right? And then he says, you look more like a victim behind 10 niggas. Funny thing is I was going to congratulate your hating ass, all right? Now you can tell Thousand Man Phony, he's a little bit irate, okay? He says, but enough talking. I like to bleed. Fuck, nigga. What the fuck? He told me on a period or he told me on like he like getting fucked up. Hold up. Hold up. Now little Yachty then says, you a flexing ass nigga. You not finna try and shoot me, then congratulate me. It was on sight, period. What the fuck? Then we have Thousand Man Phony. He said, nigga, you got shot at for trying to set me up and have your brim niggas claim they snatched my chain. If it's on sight, let it be you, ho. And then you have little Yachty said, nigga, I ain't had nothing to do with that situation. If I did, I would have owned up to it. I ain't fuck with that ho. God damn and then he said, I didn't even know it was that was your chain, nigga. I ain't never set no nigga up. I ain't had no reason to. I always been on my own shit. Then Thousand Band Phony said, nigga, you the police. And then, of course, we have Boat, who ended up by saying, stop trying to act so tough. Pussy, nigga. I'm the king, okay? And then Thousand Band Phony said, fuck is a king to a nigga like me. Even a Roman Empire fell. Keep that pussy shit out my way. And of course, Lil Yachty says, I could never be shook, just like I never forgot pussy. And then, of course, uh, Lil Yachty says, just because I leveled up on niggas don't mean I forgot all the dirt they kicked on my life on sight. And then, of course, Thousand Man Phony came back. He said, bitch boy, moral of the story is if it's on sight, don't get 10 security guards to sneak me and do your dirty work for you, pussy. And then he says, and every time I be getting my ass beat till I get to your punk ass, no matter how many times it take, bitch, let's get it. Now, uh, that's pretty much a standard rapper fuckery. I can't even lie to you, okay? It was pretty entertaining to me. Now, I will say this. I don't know what they're talking about. People getting shot at. I don't even want to know, okay? Okay, because y'all sound like y'all giving testimony right here. Y'all are claiming people shot at you, and the other person say, yeah, we did. Okay, this is basically self-snitching, okay? This is a very dumb idea to even put this out on social media. They since deleted it. However, come on, man. You don't tweet it in the first place, okay? Again, I don't know why they got issues. It's something about a chain snatching, something about somebody getting shot at. However, it looks like it culminated into a uh, thousand band phony approaching Lil Yachty. And Lil Yachty got security with him. Lil Yachty's lit out here in these streets. And of course, uh, who, who knows if he was going to come on some friendly shit or not. And according to Lil Yachty, he knew that nigga did some dirt in the past to him. So I guess security roughed him up. 
okay? Hopefully, both of these guys stay safe, okay? Don't hurt each other. We don't need no more crimes. We don't need no more funerals. We don't need no more people going to jail. We need both of our young brothers to actually make money. And again, while it's entertaining to the people on social media and maybe even to my audience, we do have to realize there's real uh, consequences if you guys do try to take this further. Y'all are both in somewhat of a blessed position. Yadi, you're doing commercials with Sprite and you're about to put out your album. You're doing very well for yourself. And of course, Thousands Band Forney, that's the reason why a lot of people know about you. Okay, you are doing your thing on an independent level and you're coming up. You don't need to be doing this to kind of uh, rob yourself from the possible blessings you can get in the future. Okay, get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them and subscribe to Boy Academics. What do you think about this fuckery, man? Grade A fuckery. The weekend was too moist with more life, right? Yeah, they had to get to the shooting, right? In the words of Donald Trump, sad. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like it's Boy Academics. I'm up.